Well, if you've ever gone to a social gathering in Bryan College Station, chances are you've run into Royce and Mary Hickman. They'll be celebrating 55 years of marriage in June. I got the chance to meet with them and tell their story in this week's final edition of Love Always. Royce Hickman was a student at Texas A&M in the 60s. And the story of how he met the love of his life started with his roommate and a road trip. He um, bugged me and bugged me and bugged me and finally in a moment of weakness I said if you get me a date with a great looking girl with a great personality, I'll go. This is the first picture she sent me. That girl was Mary Wadden. He was two hours late <laughs> to pick me up. But as soon as I opened the door, you know the movie Jerry Maguire? He said, you had me when you said hello. That's the way I felt. For Royce and Mary, the connection was fast and strong. They dated for five months before he popped the question. This is the night we were engaged. A year later, they were married. It's been nonstop since. He's a hard man to follow around. <laughs> Their journey together has taken them through five states. Ultimately, it brought them back to the Brazos Valley. We always were going to retire here. And, um, you know, God was just good to us when this chamber job came along. It's hard to picture an event in town Royce doesn't go to. He served as president and CEO of the BCS Chamber of Commerce for 19 years. I still work for the chamber. I'm working part-time. Mary never minded Royce's busy schedule. She leaned forward and says, you do realize Every time you see me at one of these is one less meal I've had to cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's extremely important to do the things that nurture the relationship that you and your spouse have. Royce now spends more time with his family and the love of his life. Once alongside him at every social event, Mary has slowed down in recent years. It is difficult for me um, because of my health and not being able to go like I did before. Sometimes I'm, I'm angry about the Parkinson's, uh, which is normal. I've had lots of downs, but the ups have been better than the downs. I can tell you exactly what she was wearing when she opened that door 56 years ago, down to the shoes on her feet. And I've asked, been asked, how do you remember that? And I very honestly answer, when you meet an angel, you remember every detail. The couple is proud to be parents of two grandparents of six and great grandparents to a girl, little girl named Elizabeth. Elizabeth James. Elizabeth yes, James. another thing we learned, Royce's grandmother used to live on Northgate at the building, which is now the backyard. Mm -hmm. That's where he proposed to marry after those five months. They revisited the spot when it was uh, when it was time for their 50th anniversary. So they're just so the sweetest couple yeah. that I that I think I've ever really met, and and he carries around a photo of her in his wallet. It's one of the first things everywhere. I remember meeting, meeting yeah. him. He, uh, within the first he whips second it time. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this and is shows, my wife. Shows it off. No, they're so sweet, and we're so glad that we got to learn a little bit more about about their love story. This whole month has been full of great stories. It really has been.